Julia here. Today I'm going to be talking about finding time in your schedule to write. For many of us writers, we are juggling many responsibilities in life. Whether that be work, school, a family, all of the above, it can be really hard in our schedules to find time to write. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to figure out moments in your life where you can be a little bit more productive and maybe get some of those words down. Tip number one is to control your time on social media. For me, I could easily waste hours on Instagram or YouTube or Snapchat just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Something that really helped me to make me more aware of the time that I was spending on these social media platforms was to set a timer. Usually 10 minutes is enough time if you want to take a brain break and you just want to relax for a little bit. That's usually a good amount of time for you to decompress. But after 10 minutes, shut off whatever video you're watching and stop whatever scrolling you're doing and start writing. That'll help cut down your time that you spend on social media and help up your time on writing and things that are more productive. Tip number two is to use transportation time. Whether you're in a plane, on a bus, in a car, there's usually opportunities that you can take to write. Now, if you are driving any of these vehicles, this doesn't apply to you because you should not be riding and driving, that's a big no-no. <laughs> but if you're on a bus ride and it takes you 15 minutes to commute to work, that's 15 minutes that you could be using to write. And if you go there and back, that's 30 minutes that you could use to write. So all these little chunks of time can add up. And even though it might not be enough to get you fully into the writing mode, even if you're using it just to edit what you've already written, that's time that you can be using to be productive. Tip number three, if you're having trouble finding time to write is to look at your schedule. Personally, I keep a written schedule because that's just how I like to work and function, but if you have it on your phone, it's super easy to see what time chunks you have available in your schedule. Block off a half hour, 45 minutes, or even an hour if you want to, and have that as your writing time. And then if something comes up and someone asks you if you're free during that time, you would have to say no if you haven't written it all during the week because that's your specified writing time. Now I'm not telling you to never go out with friends or anything, it's good to have a healthy balance, but if you've been going out every single night of the week and you haven't written down one word yet, maybe it's time to take a step back and to put that into your schedule. Tip number four isn't really how to find time, but it's how to utilize that time effectively. So generally you have a most productive time during the day, whether that be at night if you're a night owl or right in the morning or maybe midday after you've eaten a meal, there's usually a time where our creativity is the most active and our brain is the most ready to do work. And that for me is the 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. mark. So there's not many nights where I can utilize that time if I have something to do the next day, but if it's on a weekend or if it's over a holiday, I can absolutely stay up that late to get all those words down. I recommend that you find your most productive time and to schedule your writing into that time so that when you do have time to right, then you'll be able to do it. So that's all I have for you today. Hopefully this helped you figure out some times in your life that you can be a little more writing savvy and a little more productive. Do you have any tips for finding time to write in your busy schedule? Leave a comment down below, I always read them. If you would like to buy my debut novel, The Scavenger, it is available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle formats. You can also buy a signed copy via my website, so I'll leave those links down below. Thank you for stopping by. Bye!